Hi, today I'm going to share with you my master technique for creating a web page from a comp. The comp can be created in Illustrator or Photoshop or Fireworks. I prefer Fireworks. Fireworks is the best tool. In this particular case, we're going to build a comp from an existing website. I just basically took a screen capture from a website, so let's get started. The days of slicing and dicing is circa 1995. That's the old hack way to do a website. Here's a simplistic, straightforward way to do a professional CSS website using a comp and no slicing and no dicing. So let's get started. I'm at Macintosh, I'll be hitting the command key. Windows, anytime you hear me say the command key on Windows, it's the control key. Alt key is the option key at Mac. So first of all, I'm gonna go to preferences, command J, command J preferences. I'm gonna go to tracing image and I'm going to bring in a tracing image. And navigate my way to where the tracing images are kept. And and break in this comp. Now if I hit OK. Now right off the bat we have a bit of a problem because you'll see that the tracing image is not in the top left hand corner. You'll see that there's spacing problems in here. Now the best way, the most efficient way to solve that problem is to put in the asterisk tag. The asterisk tag by hitting the plus symbol down here, the asterisk tag communicates with all 92 HTML tags. So we're going to put in asterisk tag. We're going to create an asterisk tag CSS rule to set the box padding to zero and the margin padding to zero. Now, how does that help me? Well, it helps me if I put in a zero, not an O, but that's going to basically talk to all 92 HTML tags, the body tag, the paragraph tag, the H1 tag, the div tag, and set it to zero. So now this is positioned on the top left-hand corner. Make a change, save a change. Now, notice over here, I have my basic bread and butter HTML tags. The asterisk tag should go to the top. Make a change, save a change. My body tag, paragraph tag, image tag. So we're gonna get started by building div tags. The first tag that goes on the page is the wrapper tag. So question one, how big do I make my wrapper? Well, that's a simple question. With my rulers up, my rulers are up, I can take guides, I'm gonna put a guide right here. Okay, so then I'm gonna scroll down. Now, simple question here. You can't see the whole screen here, so I'm going to hit Command minus to minus out, take a guide and put a guide down here at the bottom. Right there. So how big is our site to start? So if I want to mimic this exact site, I simply hold down the Command key, the Command key on Macintosh, the Control key on Windows. So our site's going to be 103 pixels, 1,003 pixels wide by 1236. 1,003 wide by 1236. Well, how do I do that? Very simply, layout tab, layout tab, first one. So we're going to go make a wrapper tag. Here's our wrapper tag. Now I have a wrapper div tag, but I don't have rules for the wrapper div tag. So I select the tag, make the rules. Select the tag, make the rules. Incidentally, I'm working in classic mode. Classic mode with just my CSS palette up here. It's the simplest way to do this. So I'm going to move this over here. So select the tag, make a rule. So we're going to select the tag and make a rule for wrapper. I hit OK. So this is going to be 1,003 pixels by 1,236. So if I hit the apply option, that made the div tag exactly those dimensions. I hit OK, make a change, save a change. Now later on, we're gonna put this in the center of our document, but we're not gonna concern ourselves with this right now. We're simply going to build the div tags. So wrapper div tags should appear after the HTML tags. Make the change, save a change. Now, from here, it's basically child's play. It's so simple. It's so <laughs> simple, it's frightening. So let's think about the types of tags we're going to have, div tags. First of all, this section here is gonna be the branding tag, followed by site nav, followed by news, followed by main content, followed by 
advertising. Those are going to be the names of our div tags. So how, we, how do we do this? Let's get started. So the first tag is going to be the branding tag, B-R-A-N-D-I-N-G, followed by the site nav, followed by the news tag, followed by main content, followed by ads. Let's just call this site ad, just because we can. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Okay, so let's basically zoom back in here so we can see what our, we're doing here. We don't need to zoom in that big. Take this, move this to the right. So let's get started with our branding tag. Double click branding, copy branding, select the div tag, insert the IV tag, paste. Now, we're simply gonna make the div tags first then, then we'll make rules for them. Make the div tags first, then we'll make rules for them. So it's branding. Next is site nav. Site nav copy. Why am I copying and pasting? This way there's no typo. Command C copy, control C copy. Paste. Then news. Copy. Paste. Then Make content, copy, insert div tag, and paste. Then cite it, copy, paste. Now, if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that we left out an important div tag. We left out the footer div tag, which is on the bottom, because when I scroll out, I didn't account for that in my wrapper. So mistake, so how do I correct this mistake? Well, I could simply go to my guides. I can basically go to, so I'm going to take my guide here at the bottom and simply move it down to the bottom, which means our div tag is now 13 by 14. Well, how do I make my div tag 13 by 14? That is the wrapper tag. So I double click the wrapper tag, or I can use the pencil icon here, and I could say 13, 14. That's my new height. That's the new height of the wrapper. Make a change, save a change. So if I zoom back in, command plus, now I want to put footer. Now, where does footer go? Now, there's notice there's nothing that says footer. And it gets very confusing if I just click here. So we're gonna put a tag called footer based on these choices. Based on these choices, we're gonna put this after tag, after the which tag. Which tag we're gonna pick here? We're gonna pick site ads, because that was this tag here. We're gonna call it footer. Now, Dreamerverb says footer content goes here. That's fine. We're just going to change this to footer. So it's important to understand how to make changes to something that exists. So now let's get started with our branding tag. So how big do we make our branding tag? Well, let's figure this out. We have the branding tag, but we don't have any rule for the branding tag. So simple, simple, simple. Take your guide. Put your guide right there. Hold down the command key. I make my branding tag 114 pixels high. 114 pixels high is the branding tag. I select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Select the tag, make the rule. Now I don't need to be this specific, so I'm gonna say less specific branding. Okay, so let's repeat that. I put my cursor here, hold up command key for Macintosh, the control key for Windows. You have to have a guide at the top button, so that's 114 pixels. So I select the tag, select the tag, branding tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule less specific, and we're going to make the branding tag 114 pixels high. Okay, now notice that there's a little bit of padding in here. There looks like there's about a quarter inch of padding in here. So we're gonna put in 18 pixels, which is a quarter inch. Now, important step here, I don't have to set the width. That was defaulted to the parent tag, which is the wrapper tag. So I'm going to minus the left and right 
padding, which is 36 pixels. So I can simply say minus 36. That allows, that keeps the height of the branding tag at 114, but allows for padding of 18 pixels. Now let's say you forgot that 18 pixels was a quarter inch. There's 72 pixels in an inch divided by four, divided by four is 18. So hit the okay, make a change, save a change. Okay, so next we're going to create the rule for site navigator rule. These are the rules, these are the tags. These are the rules for the tags. I already have a site nav div tag created. I select the tag. I put my cursor right here. I select the tag. Select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. You can't make the rule until you select the tag. You'll make a mistake. You don't want to make a mistake. You want to make a rule. CFS rule. Exact vocabulary. See, I'm getting you to think Dreamweaver. This separates my training from other people who confuse the holy heck out of you. Think Dreamweaver. You think Dreamweaver, you'll be able to get through this with ease. Less specific. Site nav. Now, a site nav is going to be how big? We don't know this because we didn't measure yet. So, I take a guide and I put a guide right here. So, the site nav is going to be 38 pixels high. 38 pixels high is going to be our site nav. So, I put my cursor there, I select the tag, and I make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. So again, I don't have to set the width, but I'm gonna set the height to 36 pixels. Now, a little trick here. Eventually, this is gonna be part of an unordered list. So I want the height to be 36 pixels for the container box. So this is going to be 36. Now, if I want to vertically put this text in the center of that div tag, I could opt to do line height for 36, but in this particular case, we're just going to do box height and we'll make those changes later and hit OK. Make a change, save a change. Okay. Okay, our next step is rather important here. We need to combine these three div tags a news div tag, a content div tag, and the Google ads, I'm sorry, the site ads div tag inside of a separate container tag. It's going to create more flexibility. It's a better technique. Now, in order to accomplish te this technique without driving yourself cuckoo in the code here, we're simply going to hide the tracing image. How do I hide something? Well, seeing is viewing. View hide. Again, think Dreamweaver. If you want to solve a problem, know how to solve a problem. Seeing is viewing. There's a view menu, so I can go to view tracing image and choose not to see the tracing image. That's step one. So I'm going to take the tracing image. Now, it didn't delete the tracing image. I just don't want to see it. The next thing that's probably going to be a little less confusing, too, is you can turn the CSS rules on or off by clicking right here. Now, the CSS rules are off. Now, the CSS rules are on. The purpose of this, sometimes it's much, it's much simpler to select your different tags with out being interfered with the CSS. Now, in order for this icon to show up, you have to go to View, Toolbars, and Style Rendering has to be turned on. This is not a default setting. You have to have this setting on in order to take advantage of this icon here, which toggles my CSS rules on and off. So we're going to select these three tags. We're going to select those three tags. Go to the insert and wrap around selection. Wrap around selection. We're going to call this main content wrapper. Okay. Now I'll explain the purpose of why I did that in just a second. So I turn my CSS rules back on. I save the changes. I go back to view and bring back trace image. Show. Make a change. Save a change. This concludes part one. Please look at part two.